right, so in this video, I'm gonna take this NMD R1 prime knit that I have taped off and just do the boost midsole. You can see I taped off the sole, taped off the pods, and part of the upper. And I'm gonna go ahead and hydro dip these. Also as part of the prep, you could see that I have the film here and I have all the edges taped down. So it'll be a nice tight pattern once I spray the activator over top of it. And hopefully we get a good result from uh, this crazy kaleidoscope pattern. All right, so without waiting any further, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this into the water. Glossy side down. It's honestly hard to tell which is the glossy side on this one. Fingers crossed. Before I dunk this in, while I wait, I'm gonna make sure my edges are nice and firm and good and clean. Make sure the tape is down all the way. have it. Ooh, this is crazy. Oh my gosh, look at the bottom. That looks crazy. Dude, this is wicked. I think it came out pretty good, man. I'm excited about this one. Sheesh. This is so, so crazy. I'm trying to make sure this looks like this again, so fingers crossed we can get it done. I like to go heel first, and I'm gonna go across this way this time. Oh no, I missed the whole section. Oh my god. I missed the whole side on this side. You gotta be kidding me. Dry as a bone, I didn't even touch it down. Well, see if I can fix that one, I guess. Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> So here is the finished products. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the uh, tape and see what we got underneath.
So this is the one I Jimmy rig and try to fix right here. So we'll see how it turned out. You can see right here is the part I missed. So it looks a little bit weird, but at least it doesn't look too terrible. I'm glad I taped up the soles too, because none of this is going to stay on the bottom. Obviously the direct cement doesn't stick. That's the final results right here. Got a nick right here, but looks pretty good. So here you can see the final product and you can see the wife in the back trap with the baby. Um, yeah, it's been a long day, but I wanted to get this video up and show you guys the uh, final results from this. And I'm really, really happy with them. This cost me, I think 60 something dollars when I bought these on sale from Adidas, the R1s. And I ended up taping off these as well as the soles this time to make it just look more clean. And uh, I think that it turned out really good. This print is just crazy to me it's called kaleidoscope and you can see it took to the boost really well there's no like fading or anything like that um i don't know i'm just really happy with the results it's a real simple looking shoe but a really crazy looking pattern on it which is just sort of fun in my opinion some people aren't going to like this pattern on this model and i will say that i am going to be using this pattern on an ultra boost as well but i think it looks really good as you can see here up close and uh I don't know, man. Leave us some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys like the uh, the prints and the video type, just leave a thumbs up on the video and be sure to subscribe as well. Um, if you guys did notice, I did have some screw ups on this one, but this side looks pretty good in my opinion. I really like the area of the print that I got on here, especially with this little section here, how it has like a little bit of like graffiti type uh, effect. And then you work your way back and then it gets sloppy right there. So I missed that spot right there and i could touch that one up later i think and then this is where i totally screwed it up on this side and i went back and touched it up but you could see that this section right here is actually from the second run and i didn't get this done right because i didn't dip it all the way down so kind of a fail and lets me know that when i dip i need to be showing this side outward so i know when i'm going down in the water that i'm covering everything on the side that's the most important where you guys can see obviously but this again, final results, super happy with them. And um, yeah, man, leave uh, some comments. Let me know what other uh, models would you guys want to see this uh, Hydro Dip on? I have a pair of Jordans, kind of a fail, uh, but I have a pair of Jordans that I'll be doing pretty soon to show you guys. And then just some other stuff. I want to do a Vapor Max and some Air Force Ones and stuff like that also to see how it works with leather because I've heard it's a little bit more difficult with leather, but I will be uh, trying it out and seeing. But with Boost, it's pretty amazing, man. It works really, really well. You don't have to do anything to treat it. It just sticks and it looks pretty good in my opinion. But it's something that I've been wanting to learn how to do a long time ago of just blacking out boost and those methods work fairly well. Some of the ones that I've like adapted through the years, but this is pretty solid of giving you like just a whole new life uh, with your Adidas boost shoes. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, subscribe if you're new to the channel and that's all we have. Shout out to the Dyson vacuum in the backdrop. Shout out to the wife feeding the little baby back there. And uh, yeah, long day. We'll have a good one. We'll catch you guys for some more content, hopefully soon. Peace, guys.